This part is open in EdgeCam and has the virtual setup complete. If we turn off the display of the machine and the fixture and zoom up on the part, we'll see that stock's created, zero is established, and we're ready to move to the Features ribbon and find machinable features. The whole options are currently set to find CAD link information. This part was created in Autodesk Inventor and we used the CAD link install in Inventor to export the CAD data and as a result the hole is identified as a through tapped hole. If I turn on the properties window and then left click on the hole feature to tag it, you'll notice that EdgeCam picks up the thread information from Autodesk Inventor exactly as designed. The reality though is that for users that don't have access to the CAD links, you may not be able to get this information and so what you will wind up with is even if the CAD links button is checked, the whole features that you recognize contain only the information in the solid body. So how do we add it in? Very simply, you can simply edit the feature and when you edit the feature you have a thread page. Moving over to the thread page you can add thread data yourself. So now when I go to the standard and select the standard that we wish to use, ANSI metric, nominal size, M6 by 0.1 in this case, and if I want to use full depth and the thread is the full depth of the hole, which is picked up from the model, alternately you can uncheck that and put in the depth and part units you wish to use. The rest of the information comes from EdgeCam's thread database. When you press OK, this now has through tapped hole information containing all of the information for this hole, just like we saw with the CAD links. And this now makes it possible for us to go to the machining stage, run planning board. Planning board will suggest a tap strategy now because the hole has tap information. And this is going to make it very easy to apply that piece of technology and build tool path that selects a suitable tool, does the tap work very easily for us.